There are scenes of absolute horror in Hawaii. Tonight we're hearing from a Massachusetts woman who just arrived in Maui yesterday. Lahaina is on fire. It was a desperate race to escape the raging fires as flames tore through the historic town of Lahaina. Oh my gosh, look at the harbor. From above, the devastation stretched for miles. It was heartbreaking. It looked like an area that had been bombed in a war. You know, entire communities just vanished. And um, it's... It's just such a tragedy. Nicole Nagata and her family just arrived in Maui from Boston last night. Their smiles quickly turning to horror as they saw this frightening view when the plane was landing. It looked like volcanoes erupting and you could just see the fires blazing. Six fires erupted on the islands of Maui and Hawaii on Tuesday, fueled by incredibly strong winds, low humidity and dry vegetation. Some even ran into the ocean to escape the inferno. I was the last one off the dock when the firestorm came through the banyan tree and took everything with it. People have lost everything. Their homes are now ashes. Um, their families with nothing. More than a thousand people have been evacuated as the fires destroy hundreds of homes and businesses and they continue to burn. Our hearts are absolutely shattered for the people that lost everything and lives lost too. It's, it's I can't tell you how heartbreaking it is. And those fires are still not under control tonight. The winds not as strong as yesterday, but even into tomorrow, they could see gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Live in the newsroom, John Atwater, WCVB News Center 5. Wow.